How did the Hawkeye E-2 aircraft, also known as the Hummer, manage to stay in production for over 60 years? In the late 1950s, the US Navy started developing an all-weather, carrier-based, early warning aircraft, the E-2A Hawkeye. By 1965, a total of 59 aircraft had been built, but they were so unreliable that the fleet was frequently grounded, which led to the cancellation of the E-2A program. The main issue was the rotary drum computer and other tightly packed avionics that would often overheat and fail. The US Navy had to explain Hawkeye's failure to Congress and came up with an interim solution, the Hawkeye E-2B, with a new Lydon L304 digital computer which weighed 500 pounds or 226 kilograms. It took many more years for Hawkeye to reach full capability. The current version, E-2D, has aerial refueling capability, a new radar system, all-glass cockpit and a new carbon fiber propeller that doesn't interfere with the radar. Sometimes it just takes time to develop new technologies.